All right, good job. So, every day, you and I have a routine for practice, right? And that routine should be a good warm up, a good stretch, get your body ready. Because when I shake hands, right? It doesn't matter. If I shake hands, I'm ready to wrestle that day, right? So, do whatever you have to do. But that moment when you shake hands with your partner, your mind should be ready to get better at wrestling. So, any stretching, any warming up, like, I hate seeing this. This is general, right? I hate seeing this. Shake hands, and it's like, That, that made me worse at wrestling, for sure, right? I want to see when we shake hands, right? I'm starting to move this guy, right? This is beneficial for me. I'm moving him, right? I'm moving this guy. I'm getting this leg, pull myself in. Good, good, up, back straight, all the way through. Do I take down, right? That's developing a good habit. And that was slow, right? I'm kind of still warming up, but I'm developing good habits doing that. I know you're at camp, I know I've been here for a week, but man, my knees are kind of sore, my little back's a little sore. Doesn't mean sacrifice is a technique because you're tired. Because that's when you develop bad habits. You always want to develop good habits. All right, so just something I want to talk about as you're going through these different things. Really make sure you have a limited amount of time to get better at wrestling this week. So whenever the mat, try and give 100% effort to get better. Really try and learn the positions. Really try and focus. Again, better. You can rest in between sessions. You can rest at night. But when you're here, for this week, this summer, it's wherever you can, you can better rest while you're on the mat. All right, so first position, head inside single, all right? So we've all been here. I get here all the time because I shoot a lot. That's cool. So first thing I want to do is I got to learn to get my hands locked. So not only, so, my, so maybe I shoot a single, like this guy's sprawled out. So I got to fight to get my hands locked. That's the first fight. Now, my first finish, I'm going to give a quick pull, I'll put my hands on the mat, my arms are going to be straight, right? Big mistake that we make, we get in here and we think we got to finish and we're trying to pull this leg in. It's not possible, but I'm trying to pull this leg in, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going anywhere. My arms are straight, so it's going to look like this. I'm here, I'm going to a quick pull, again, I'm doing pull-ups, right, you have a strong back. I'm going to get a quick pull, my knuckles are going to the mat, my chest is going over my lock, and my hips are going to turn all at the same time, right? Quick pull, knuckles to the mat, chest over my lock, hips quick turn. That's all simultaneously, right? So I'm here, I'm wrestling, I kind of feel this guy relax for a quick second, and I'm going to get a quick pull, knuckles to the mat, chest over my lock, and watch my hips. I'm not straight in front of this guy, my hips are going to turn. If I'm going right, my right hip's going to be a little bit lower. What happens, I drive. My shoulder is going to be right here in his thigh, and I'm going to shift this guy's weight. So he's going to be here. As I pull his leg in, his body's going to do this. Now I get the backside corner. That looks my finish. So as I do this, I'm not thinking leg pull in. I'm thinking finish the whole way. So I get here. I'm waiting. I'm, like, I'm kind of waiting for this guy to relax. OK, big pull. I'm sorry, pull, knuckles on the mat, chest over the lock, boom, right here. Look where my body changed. I got in front of this guy, got an angle. Got a lot of weight on this opposite side. My shoulders in his thigh, I'm driving into him. Now, a mistake that I make sometimes, we gotta be aware is I don't wanna drop my back elbow to the mat. What happens, I do all these right things, I drop my elbow to the mat, and I whiz him. Now I'm in a whiz whole different finish, right? I want to take advantage of a quick finish. I'm going to switch my hands. I'm going to go inside grab, outside hand chase the far leg. So again, my whole idea is I'm finishing here. Quick pull, get the corner. My inside hand switches to top of the side. My back hand chases my takedown. Drive all the way through for my takedown. Don't go around the waist, right? This guy's only got one option really here is to try and wizard me. So don't give him a choice at relaxing, right? Don't stop and let him wizard. And don't do this. Because now I'm back to 50-50. Right? So think the whole time I'm finishing this shot. Hands locked. Boom. Chest over my lock at the angle. Now I climb the rope. I stay on my elbow. And I reach back side for the ankle. And then I'm driving through my back. Yes, it 
time. Big quick pull, knuckles to the mat, chest over my lock. Weight on the far leg. Boom. Look at my legs. I don't just pull and stay here. I'm getting the corner. This guy's really, I'm really sprawled out. Quick pull, boom. I, I circle this back side. Find the leg. Get my takes out. All the way through. Close that. Single leg the opposite side. Same thing. Quick pull. Get the corner. A lot of pressure on this guy's far leg. Time the rope. Get the back side. Any questions there? Let's go do it. One, two, three.